Hey guys, it's Gabe here from Fly on the Line. Today we are going to be tying um, one of my favorite patterns to tie. One of my favorite patterns to tie. It's the stimulator. Um, this is a bro supposedly a brook trout fly, but can be used for any type of fish. Um, it's we're, today we're going to be using a size 12 mustad. Here, let me look at. It's a size 12 mustad, um, a long curved um, hook. It has like a sort of a hump, like, and it goes down like that. It's this is not representing any sort of a fly. It's just basically like just to get the fish excited, basically. Um, so what we're gonna do is this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start out right here. We want to leave a ton of space up at the front, because, and you'll see why later. Wrap to like there. And then we're gonna wrap back. We're gonna wrap to about there. We'll cut off our thread. Then we're gonna grab some deer hair. This is medium coastal deer hair. I, this is like, I love this deer hair, and it's nice and long, it's good to use. So you're going to grab like a small clump, about like that big, maybe even less, like that. And you're going to take your scissors, you're going to cut out your deer hair. You're going to grab your hair stacker. You're going to put them, put your hair, deer hair in, tips first. You're gonna stack. You're gonna stack it. Uh, okay, that should be good. Good. Yeah. You'll pull your deer hair clump out, and you'll go like this. And get all those extra fibers out. Go like that. Brush it quickly. Some like couple that aren't like stacking, so I'm just gonna pop them out. And you can also grab like a mustache comb or something and just brush out your deer hair. That helps too. It's really basically preference, whatever gets the job done quicker. And so next, what we're gonna do is you're gonna line it up just to go just past the back shank of your hook. It's about like that. It's about good. And you're going to lay down a loose wrap down. And you're going to wrap all the way up to where you stopped your, where you started your, your thread wrap set. You're not going to pull down hard. And you're going to wrap lightly all the way to the back. And as you get to the back where you end it, you're going to wrap, start wrapping tightly and then. Once you get to the end, you're gonna wrap super tightly. And that gives you, uh, it's a little short, so I'm just gonna kind of unravel it a little bit. And that's a trick, this is one of the trickier parts to do when you wrap it in and sizing it to the exact spot because you never know what's the exact right length from just first so I'm just gonna go a little bit longer I'll do about like that I'm gonna shorten my lineup thread I'm gonna Lay down some loose wraps. Tie it forward. Capture all those hairs as best as you can. Then as you get closer to the back, lay down some tighter wraps. Then you're going to wrap super tight at the end. Then forward a little bit just to kind of cover it up. That gives it that nice tail that I like. Next, you're gonna grab all your clump, your, your like your butt ends of your deer hair, 
and you're going to pull up and you're grab your like normal like hair cutting scissors or longer scissors and you're going to cut them as close as you can that's about good and then you're just going to kind of clean that up okay now you're going to go to the back you're going to go like part way back you're going to leave just a small space between that you're going to grab some brown saddle hackle I mean saddle hackle just normal hackle and you're going to trim off those little barbels, make those little barbs, like I did. Mine's a little long. That's about good. And you're going to line where you stopped your barb at, exact, just like a little bit of your barbel, the little barb thing hanging off the tail, off, off where the tail is. You're going to lay, right out, lay, lay on a couple good wraps. Capture it nice and tight. Okay. And then wrap all the way as close as you can to the back where you stopped your tail fibers at. And if it like starts to like clump together, you can always like pull down on just this tight wrap, like a tight. Like, pull down on your line, like, hold it, and then pull down, and it'll fray your deer hair out. And that's what you want on this. Next, you're going to grab some Loon High Tack Wax. It's wax, but I call it wax because it doesn't make any sense. So, next, we're going to, oh, after we waxed our line, we're going to grab some orange dubbing, hairline dubbing. I like this stuff because it's like a super soft, super easy to use. And you're going to grab a good pinch of it. You'll place it on your line and you want to make sure like a good layer of this dubbing. This is the most common color. Me and my dad have done many variations of this. It's just the same fly. Except we've used like ice dub and we've used different color dubbings. It's and that just adds variation because it's a stimulator, it doesn't make really matter. The most common color that people use is orange. I use mainly orange and that in that color area. And so, and that's just like, it's basically just like, however you really want your fly to look. So, that's kind of nice. So after we did our, put our dubbing on, we're going to wrap right up at the edge. And you're going to lay down nice, some nice neat wraps. And like an elk or caddis, you don't really need to build much of a taper. I'm gonna grab some more of this dubbing. And also a cool trick is you can instead of doing instead of putting on wax, you can lick your fingers and you can do put that on the line and that it doesn't really make any difference. This wax we just got just because we just wanted to get it just to try it out. And it depends for me if I'm just trying to do it quick and I wanna make a easy fly then I'm gonna do I'm gonna lick my fingers if I'm just like taking my time just on extra time then I'll usually use wax so next we're gonna wrap up and because we have like a little bit of a space this is hard we're gonna like build up this right here there we go In order to kind of secure that, we'll kind of do like two wraps in front of that. Okay, that's about good. Next, we are going to grab our hackle pliers, or if you want to use your fingers, and we're going to grab the end of our hackle, and we'll do a couple spaced wraps, kind of like a candy cane in a way. Like, just like doing an elk or cat, actually. 
Just like you're doing it, I don't care. And you're gonna hold that tightly, and then you're gonna capture it. And secure it in nice and tight. So you'll take your scissors, let that hackle out. Some people actually pull the hackle. I don't like it because I've had bad experiences with it. Pulling the hackle because it, then it like pulls the other hackle with it and I'm just now paranoid of it. Go ahead, try pulling it. I don't like to. But it's basically whatever you want to do, really. It doesn't really matter. Okay, next we're going to grab our coastal deer hair again. And we're going to get a nut, uh, about two times what we grabbed in our uh, tail. And we're going to take our scissors. We're going to clip that out. Kind of clean it out a little bit. Get the, kind of, a couple of those extra fibers out. So we're going to place it tips in in our stacker. Tips down in the stacker. And we'll put the... And then we'll place that in the stacker, put our finger over it, and then... You can stack it on your hand, but I usually, when I'm not doing a video, I'll stack it on my workbench. But I'm stacking it on my hand. It's just whatever you like to do. It doesn't really matter. So, once I think that's about nice and stacked, I'll check. And some of these extra fibers. That's a, And that's about good. It's a good. It doesn't have to be super neat. And so you'll grab like your little comb and you'll kind of brush out those extra fibers. Clean that out. And I'm just going to kind of look and see how big this will look on my fly. And I like that. That's, you want, you don't, you can have a lot, you can have a little. And so what you're going to do is you're going to line it up with your tip, the tips of your tail, like that. So that's yeah, about roughly lined up. So you'll pinch the back of your deer hair, and you're gonna make some nice, a couple of loose wraps. Then you'll make some, and then you'll kind of like secure it really nicely. You want to secure it really well. Okay, and see how your the back of your stimulator is freed out, should be freed out. And so you're just going to kind of like go in between some of these and just kind of capture them like that. Just pull a couple, do a couple clumps. Next you're going to, once you do that, you're going to take your thread and you're going to wrap up to that main chunk of thread that you were using. Then you're going to grab your scissors and you are going to clip your deer hair as much as you can get out of there. Get it out. I'm going to take some of my smaller, smaller scissors and can I get in there? That's about good. And just kind of, so it came, sat back down. I, I stuck, 
couple extra fibers. And so you'll see there's like those butt ends there. There's one butt end got loose. And you're just gonna you can lay down some nice wraps, just kind of clean that up. those nice and tight and see some of the string is sliding down but it's okay or it will be able to build it up with the dubbing that's about good and I'll wrap up and you'll wrap up all the way up to your little clump of deer hair And so, next what we're going to do is, we, I already trimmed it, it's a size 12 hackle, this is a grizzly hackle, and I already trimmed off my barbels, and I'm going to lay it right, so the barbels are right on the edge of my uh, wing thing, a little clump of deer hair, and so, Lay down that, capture that nice, tight in there, and then you'll grab some of your wax, your high tech wax. You'll grab your hair, your hairline orange dubbing, and you'll place that on your line. And you'll get it in on there. Okay, now I got my dubbing on. Ooh, I spotted a loose deer hair. Nope, I'm gonna clip it off. Okay, now we're gonna build up and we're gonna stop at a point. We're just gonna see where this kind of goes. So my deer hairs really getting loose. I'm gonna hold those back. And so we're. You'll kind of build up a nice little body on your a little head on your fly. We're gonna put some more dubbing on. So grab some of our wax, put some of our wax on there. Right on there. There we go. Okay. Next of you next we're gonna grab our hackle pliers, clip our ha grab our hackle and grizzly hackle. And hold our deer hair in place. And you're gonna make some kind of like like some close wraps and you're gonna kinda wrap some people like to build up a, th a ton on there, like a super far up. I usually don't. It's preference, really. How you like your flies to look. So we're gonna capture our hackle. Next, we'll put on some more dubbing. Not a ton. Little mount. Pull our hackle back. 
for some loose hackles, but I don't really want, I didn't really want those where they are. Add some more dubbing. Pull half a back. And trim out some of those extra little fibers and loose hairs and stuff. So we're gonna clip that, make it nice and tight. Clip some extra deer hairs and all those extra loose fibers. So I know how those things can get loose. Okay, now we're going to do a half hitch. We're going to push up against the dubbing so it kind of pushes it back. Like that. Some people like the hackle, by the way, all the way up to the front. I just, I accidentally picked a short hackle. So, I'm going to do another video where I used ice dub on this. So I did like a couple half hitches, it really depends. And then you'll do a whip finish. Like, I'd say like four, I don't know, like six wraps. I don't know how many I just did, but. And then we'll clip that. Clip our thread. We're going to grab our, bod, our bodkin. And we're going to get it nice. Drip. So I got some of my hackle and put it just right on there. And then I have some extra. So I'm just going to get just a tiny bit off of it, like on my paper towel. Then I'm going to let it drop. And right behind here, my D hair still kind of spins. Here's a cool trick I learned. You're going to put it right on the back, right in between your hackle or your hackle starts and your deer hair ends. Maybe put a little bit more. You want that to kind of soak in. So that kind of soaks in with the deer hair fibers and hackle fibers and stuff. Next you'll wipe off your bodkin. Grab a little paper towel, wipe it off. And that is how you tie a stimulator. I really love this fly. It's like awesome. It looks so cool, I think. I'm just cut trimming a couple hackles that look really bad. And so that, my friends, is how you tie a stimulator. Uh, this is a pretty good fly. I, lo I like it. I love it a lot. I've done accidentally done variations without deer hair, without the brown hackle, like in this one. This one, I used yellow. There's that one. I have a couple others, but I don't know where my box is. Um, I, no, it's in, it's in my room. Um, so, that, my friends, is how to tie the stimulator. I hope you guys enjoy fishing this and tying this fly. Um, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also check out my blog, flyonthelineblog.wordpress.com. Thank you guys so much for watching, and please have a great day.